Hello, hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoy our little Q&A today. So going over a couple details about what's going on with yoga teacher training, give you guys some really great news that we recently got from Yoga Alliance and passing it on to you. So um, first things first, uh, yoga, yoga Alliance has allowed us to extend our training through the end of next year. So if you were thinking about taking online yoga teacher training online and you just weren't quite sure if there was enough time because we kept getting short extensions, now is a great time to enroll because you have 12 full months to complete your training. So with that being said, I sent out an email campaign today and I will drop this in the comments below for you. Uh, but a few key things that we're going to be looking to do in our training. Uh, let me get it out for you. Uh, so first things first, free workbook to anybody that clicks the link, you can download our workbook and our manual. In it is over 150 pages of yoga asana, some of the benefits of each asana, what they do, what the name is in, the, in Sanskrit for each asana. And then the next section of it is our yoga snippets, is easy sequences you can do at home just to enhance your personal practice. Or if you're a yoga teacher and you're looking for new content and, and, and new moves, right? It's done for you. And we have 30 of those. So there's 90 in total. And then our workbook, which is a chance to put pen to plate to paper and just maybe share some of what we're learning of living in a yogic way and some of these teachings that just help us in our daily lives that just show up in our relationships with other people with our relationship with ourselves and so on and it seems to be why why yogis have a little easier time uh, with adversity because we have this toolbox and so that's what the workbook is all about and so i just just giving that to everybody who would like it i'll drop the link down you don't have to reach out or give me your email or anything else like that you can just simply download it and enjoy it uh, it is the platform for all of our teacher training programs so whichever program that you've had your eye on that is the um platform from which we teach because it's done for you. Like the asanas there, the sequencing there, the idea to put pen to paper, it's sort of a journaling reflection kind of way is all there. And then it becomes a matter of now what do we do with this information? So this is what we have. Let me go through my trusty email that I sent out and I will include in the link for your guys' reference for you. So the first order of business is to stay curled up. So if you are in a flannel onesie on the sofa right now, I want you to stay where you are and know you do not have to fight the winter cold for yoga teacher training this year, which I don't know about you, but I would have loved. I had to set an alarm, get up early, power through February snow for yoga teacher training. And while that was an amazing experience for me, there is something to be said for doing it at home when it's done well. So let me share this about what that's going to look for you. Um, we want you to find this year of 2021 to be pamper yourself. So that's going to be our theme, pamper yourself, self-care, self-discovery, self-exploration. What can you do to make yourself feel warm and fuzzy this year? So that's what we're going for. That's what we're trying to do. And I hope by the end of 2021, you say, wow, that training was amazing. It was such a great time of growth and expansion for me. I feel so good. This is what we want. We want to feel good again. So let's, let's, let's harness that in, right? Let's take some steps to have that happen. Uh, all right, moving on. Uh, so we've been at this for a year online. And prior to that, I've been training for over a decade. So we have this down Pat. We have a seamless experience for you. We don't have any technical difficulties or anything. I can't say not ever, but for the most part, we've got a very well-oiled machine because we've been at this for a good long time. So let me share with you about what that's going to look like. Okay, I will continue to be available as I have been six days a week for yoga teacher training. I'm available personally on Slack. You can send me a message at that time. I have virtual office hours. I'm always available. I'm always there. And we have yoga training, live training at Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, from 12 to 2, and then also on Monday and Wednesday from 6 to 8. So six days a week for you to choose from. So just pick one day a week that works for you and come to training. Or if you can pick two, great, pick two. Um, but we are here, and so flexibility is paramount. So we do ask that you pick a training schedule, though, 
only because in 2020, I didn't really mandate that as much because I'm not big on mandating anything, right? But at the same time, I think it's important to kind of have an accountability buddy and I want to be that for you to make sure that you're staying on track and that you're getting what you need out of your training. Um, in 2020, I took a number of trainings. I took, um, okay, I'll tell you about which ones I took. I took Yoga Anatomy Principles with Kamenov. Amazing. Like, Mind blowing. And um, their team definitely stayed connected. I had to turn to my homework before I could progress to the next le to the next lesson. I got feedback. I found out about how I was doing. I was part of a guided experience. It was wonderful. I took another training that was kind of hybrid. I took a yoga for children kids yoga, because I wanted to finish up um, all of the yoga alliance programs. And the kids was the one that I didn't have. And I had some time. So I did it. Um, and it was kind of a medley. It was um, half was pre-recorded lessons, which was really nice for me, because it was definitely data dense information. So I was able to pause, rewind, listen again, that sort of thing. Um, and then some was also live via Zoom, which was nice because we were able just to talk freely, uh, get a little bit more information and go into the different breakout rooms and practice what we were learning. So this can be expressed to you as three different ideas the way Edge does it is we have lecture, we have lab, and we have practicum. Now, those words can mean something a little different to each one of my students because long before I taught group, I taught one-on-one -on -one yoga teacher training. And that's where my heart really is, is what is your experience? What do you need? How can I serve you best? But the structure is there. So there's the lectures where, hey, I'm lecturing at you. I'm giving you information right now, right? The lab is we have a chance to do something with that lecture. So let's say the lecture might be on yamas and the social interplay and fabric with, with others, right? Okay, so what can we then do? Can we put together a themed based yoga sauna class where we thread in the idea of the yamas by the intention and maybe some of the language choices during the class and maybe even the meditation that sort of thing. Um, maybe others would rather do a workshop and, you know, as you get a little further into your journey, if you're feeling really good about it and you want to share a little bit more on the practicum side, maybe lead some workshops and get some experience doing that. Um, most of, if you've been on my Facebook wall, you've probably seen scores and scores and scores of students doing just that. They're sharing their practicum experience that's part of their training online and then they graduated and they finished. So, you know, it's not um, a stagnant thing where this one person offers lessons for edge rather than we, we invite all to come and drink from the well. So that's, that's where we are. Um, let's see. Okay. So our Slack community, if you don't know about Slack, Slack is really nice. Um, Slack.com. It's the app. It's, it's basically where it's our communications hub. It's where we share information on the lessons. It's where we launch our Zoom so you don't have to deal with usernames and passwords and that whole thing that's all internal and encapsulated. And also it really helps with workflow because you can send me a, a question that you might have directly on Slack. And then during my virtual offer, office hours, I can hop on and I can answer your question and I can send it back. And if I'm getting enough of the same question, I'll often post an announcement on the topic. So this just kind of helps keep us um, on the same wavelength as far as where you are in your training and make sure that you know that I'm plugged in as a direct line to you to be your mentor. Um, for the 2020 run, or 2021 run, 2020, 2021 run, for the 2021 run, uh, I will be the only lead trainer on this um, training all year long, although I will continue to have my 300 hour yoga teacher trainees um, and guest speakers come in and offer workshops and practicum just to keep that flavor going. I know in our yoga alliance reviews, so many people talk about how much they love all the different teachers. And I do too. I think that that's our secret sauce. It, it brings in the different ways to see what yamas are or, or the different ways we can express what these ideas are, what can we do with these things, you know? So again, let's let's reconnect this lecture, the lecture being say Yamas, and to the lab being, I'm gonna create something with it. I'm gonna fill out my workbook. I'm gonna come up with a plan, right? That's lab, I'm coming up with a plan. And then practicum is executing said plan, right? 
And keeping in mind that this can look different for everyone. And that's the idea. That's what we're hoping for. Um, okay, so let's see. Okay, now, long before all of this happened, um, I've had an online portal that housed our lessons, which we definitely enhanced over the last year, but that has been an invaluable tool because when we first hear about the Yamas, I remember first time, first time I heard, I was like, what's, what's Yamas and Yamas? It was like, Kristen, Yogi 108 had said, hey, we should wrap about Yamas and Yamas sometimes. I'm like, what's that? And, and wow, talk about opening up a world of tools and resources on, 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 on living, living joy. You know, really, truly, I live in joy. Not to say I don't have bad days. Oh, I do. But I think my, my, my toolbox is so full. Um, it really helps my perspective on what's going on each day, every day. And, and that, that goes such a very long way. So this online portal that we have is you listen to my lesson. Uh, but maybe you jump on to our online portal and you listen to Kay's lesson and maybe they sound different and that's to be celebrated because we're not cookie cutters. I'm not looking for a, a, um, a recited uh, script that I gave you. This is a fundamental core belief systems. I want this to be your own. I want this to be your own personal experience, not my experience imparted onto you, which I understand oftentimes can be quite off-putting anyway, which is one of the reasons I don't do it. Uh, so we have the online portal. We have had the online portal for like, I don't know, a couple few years now. Um, we use Teachable, which I love. Actually, uh, it's, they do a really nice job of helping keep the organized information. There's little self quizzes there. There's links, there's videos, there's podcasts. I try and reduce the amount of screen time there and lean more towards podcasts and downloads of handouts because I feel like we're all getting a little zoomed out and I'd rather save that for live interaction for YTT, which is why I offer YTT six days a week on Tuesday and Thursday and Saturday and Sunday from 12 to 2 with me or on Monday and Wednesday from six to eight with me. And sometimes we'll have guests in the 300 hour folks who come and play around in our sandbox and learn some stuff there. And that's cool too. Uh, all right, so that's the online portal. Chuck, I got that. And then let's see what's next. The next is the manual. Now, the thing you wanna do when you're picking out a yoga teacher training is make sure you have a refined course that your time is gonna be worth it. I'm not saying that the $99 trainings that are out there right now aren't great. I don't know. Maybe they are. They could be. That's possible. Um, but coming from a school who's been doing this, who has all of the resources that's rewritten five editions of the manual, I don't know, maybe 10 editions of the manual, and having many, many chances to run trainings has allowed us to refine our craft. So I can't say what other people are doing, um, but having that manual is such a nice way, not only to understand the asanas I touched on earlier, but also just to get the sequencing patterns down. So early on in my career, you know, I would teach a class and I wasn't sure who was going to show up and the class I taught had to be all levels. And so I had index cards of different asanas and I had them paired in three. And then just based on how the class was doing, did they need a little more athleticism? Do I need to take it down a few notches? I would switch out the index cards at the top of my mat. And I did this for years until eventually I took those cards and I translated that over to our manual. And that is the yoga snippets portion of our manual where we guide you this done for you class planning design sequencing. No need to spend five hours a week sequencing a class. We have it done for you. In our online portal, you can see it in action, either broken down individually and also together in different variations in class presentation. So we've really gone to great lengths to make sure that whatever kind of learner you are, whether it be audible or, or you know, you learn by doing or, you know, whichever of seeing, they're all there. They're all there to make sure that we visit that well again and again until we can come back and say, I got it. 
I can teach a 60 minute class. I can add in a theme. I know what that process looks like. I can easily offer a workshop and I can blend those ideas together to serve my community best. And that's what I teach you to do. That's what I do. It's my jam. Uh, all right, and then what else? Uh, Five-star reviews on Yoga Alliance. Uh, every now and then someone doesn't like the Michelle show. I think it might be because we don't have like a checklist approach to our training. It's not so much like here's a checklist, check it off. It's more um, start off with the lecture, start off with attending regularly. And then at 100 hours, we have a graduation plan. And it's at that point that we start to figure out what is your lab going to look like? What is your practicum going to look like? Are you interested in presenting to my student body? If so, when are you available to do so? Uh, there, there's, there's nuances there that really can't be figured out ahead of time. They're done halfway through. And that's why I've been doing that for years. For years, I've been doing that because I feel like that first half is, it can be a little, a little, I don't know, a little nerve wracking. You're showing up to this brand new thing. We're talking about these big, huge ideas. They may or may not fall in line with your current belief system. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. Um, maybe you know this well and you have much to contribute. Maybe you're listening in the onset of things. But when you figure that out as time goes by, um, it's more about that halfway point that we then say, okay, let's roll up our sleeves. What are we gonna do with this information that you've got in this first half. What does it look like? How often do you attend? We do have a flexible schedule. So if you want to attend one day a week or six days a week, whatever you want to do, it's entirely up to you. But the consistency is the word. So consider me like your personal trainer in that way that I don't really care when you come, if it's this day or that day or twice a week or three times a week, that's up to you. But what matters to me is that I'm helping you stay on track with your goals. That's all. All right. That's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm up to over here. So if you're like, well, I don't know, I might get a different job or something might change. I'm afraid to declare a day. Really just declare a day and we can always change it later. No worries. Send me a message on Slack and we'll change it. It's all good. I'm nothing if not flexible. It's excellent. But we do want to make sure that there is that structure in place. And we do have an accountability buddy. I talked about two great trainings that I took this last year. Um, and then I took a couple not so great trainings. Um, they were, I don't know, like $18. And I found them on my Facebook newsfeed. And I, I felt like um, while these created a bridge of interest for me to dabble in and say, oh, do I want to learn more about photography, which by now, unless you've been li living under a rock, you, you realize, yeah, I did. And they were great to uh, let me just play around a bit and say, oh, I want this or I don't want this, but not so much to go be a photographer, you know. For that, I enrolled in Berkeley classes online. I highly recommend Berkeley extensions. They're absolutely amazing. You do not need to be admitted into Berkeley to take these classes. These are, um, most of the Ivy League schools offer communications and um, educations to, to the public just for learning for the sake of learning. Uh, I am going for their photography program though. I actually did actually like enroll, enroll in January, but this last one, I took this visual storytelling. If you look back on my timeline and see like, wow, what has she been doing these last three months? Her timeline looks so amazing on her business page. Go, go check, go check it out. I have those folks to thank. Um, so, you know, I mean, honestly, uh, you will learn your craft from those that have refined it and your craft will reflect that learning experience. So making sure that your training that you choose that's right for you, maybe it's edge, maybe it's not, but whichever training you do pick, make sure it's one that would want to um, meet the goals of why you came to training. You want to teach class, you want to offer workshops, you want to offer a studio one day, uh, you want to offer retreats, what, whatever it might be for your own personal practice, because it's a high frequency thing to do and you need a new tribe, like whatever it is, you know? Uh, okay, let's see what else. So we got five star on Yoga Alliance, kind of excited about that. Uh, all right, I don't want this to go too long, but here's a, just a couple key things about what to look for in a yoga teacher training, whether it be edge or elsewhere, because edge isn't the end all be all any place. There's a lot of really great trainings out there. Um, here's some key things that you're going to want to look for. Make sure, one, the training exists and had reviews before COVID. Other one, some, otherwise, someone right out of training um, that really hasn't done much with it, but did graduate a couple of years ago, can run a training. And so we don't, we don't want that. The new standards with Yoga Alliance will be addressing that, but those are on pause right now because of everything that, well, is. It may be that that's for the best, but I am glad to see that these new standards will be up and coming. So you'll want to make sure that you're 
you're spending your time, your precious time in a, in a program that existed before COVID. Um, all right, so let's see what else. You're going to want to make sure you either have live or virtual sessions offered by the lead trainer who is an ERYT 500 with Yoga Alliance. What does that mean? So that means that at least four years ago, I graduated from my 200. And since then, I've taught over 2,000 hours. And that's how I became an experienced registered yoga teacher of 500 hours after I took my 300 hour over at Essential with Janine. She's amazing too. I would I recommend them too. They're great. Uh, and that's how. So I had 500 hours in training and four years have passed in 2,000 hours of teaching. You do not want somebody like right out of the gate that just graduated, that's taught some classes and a little bit of time lapse offering a yoga teacher training. This is important. Your time is valuable. Uh, okay. Next, next, next. Another thing you're going to want to look for, make sure that they do have like an online portal of past trainings. Like some, any, any uh, course that you take, there'd be a book that you would get right? They'd say, this is your book. You need to bring it to class. This is, this is our online portal. We only have a couple of required books. We're not heavy on that because we have this such nutrient dense information in our online portal, which is all there to feed your soul. Uh, you're going to want to make sure that they have a printable manual. If the whole thing is being like shot from the hip now is someone who can definitely teach from the hip. I'm, I'm good at that. I can, I can do that. Um, you will want some structure there. You're going to want to make sure there's a manual you can download, you can review, you can resource, and that is already set up in, in structure, not just like hit Zoom live, let's go and earn hours, right? Uh, you're going to want those resources, not only for in the moment, which can be quite dazzling, but a year or two from now, after you've taken this training, you have an opportunity to teach classes, are you equipped to do so? Keep these things in mind. Uh, okay, what else? Uh, you're going to want a true mentorship. Uh, I think the mentorship piece with me personally, I'm not really known for like, like coddling or the, oh, you know, um, not a lot of flowery language with Michelle. Loving, oh my God, loving, loyal to the end. Flowery, not so much. So that then means if you show up and you ask me, okay, well, this is what I'm doing. You know, this is, this is my idea. I'm going to authentically take time to find out about that experience and tell you what I really think in a loving way with the hymns are not harming and give you some directions and some calls to action to help you meet your goals. And for me, that's what a mentor is. And it can be very from different people, depending on what you're looking for. Uh, what I like to do is tell people, meet their goals, right? So that's that's what I'm known for. That's what I'm here for. Um, you know, if you can't ever make it to class, you'll probably have a harder time than those people that just do what it takes to show up once a week, right? And if you need to change your day, that's still totally fine. Uh, but you need to be committed to your goals and your hopes and dreams if you want to achieve them. You've got to make them a priority in your life. And for, for those of you that are like, I know, but I have all these other people in my life tugging and pulling at me. To that, I say, teach them what self-care looks like. You know, teach them that it's important that we take time and resources out for our hopes and dreams and show them, especially if you have kids, show them by example what that looks like. Like, right? That, that means that you take time to come to yoga teacher training because it feeds your soul and you love it. Your tribe is there and you're learning this new craft, right? That, that it makes the cut on your priorities. You cannot put yourself at the bottom of the priority list and then be upset with others that your hopes and dreams aren't met. So there's an example of what mentorship with me kind of sounds like. All right. So what else? Uh, mentorship. Okay. And the next thing you're going to want to look for in a yoga teacher training before we wrap this up, because I don't want to speak too long, is going to be make sure they have both a 200 and a 300 hour yoga teacher training. Here's why. The new, the new standards that I told you about oh, just a moment ago with yoga lines that are coming out that were due to take effect, you know, just here, here coming up soon. Those have been on pause. However, in order to have led a 300 hour yoga teacher training, you need to have had that experienced registered yoga teacher of 500 hours. I mentioned that a moment ago when I was telling you about my experience. You could not lead a 300 any other way. So in fact, I had my 300 led by other people that had credentials that I didn't long before I was the one to be able to lead it. That's how you know you have a seasoned teacher at bay. So be sure, make sure, you're going to want to make sure that they have both the 200 and 300. 
if you go and see, oh, I'm looking at this teacher training, it's 99 dollars it looks great. If that's my budget, if it works for you, if this is how you can make it have it, two thumbs up. However, if you see it's being taught by a school that only has access to the 200, and then on top of it is taught by somebody who is an ERYT 200 and not 500, that then means that they only have the 200 under their belt and they're leaning you through a yoga teacher training experience. I think that a student can only be as good as their teacher so instead of that anyway 200 and 300 you're gonna want both uh okay what else um but michelle the reality is code have impacted my budget as well as my life and i i this is the best i can afford i don't want you to take a cheap training you guys you're my heart is to share yoga with as many humans as possible responsible yoga like this is so heartfelt my eyes turn two different colors you see when I, when I feel really emotional, I just, this one's mint green and that one's brown. Okay, this is how you guys really, really know I'm speaking from my soul here. If you need a scholarship or a discount code, honey, reach out to me. I will make sure you have what you need to reach your goals, okay? Really, don't take cheap training. You don't wanna take cheap training. So there's that. Okay, um, all right, so I went over the schedule. You're gonna to wanna to choose your schedule. Here's the schedule brackets. Uh, we have Monday and Wednesdays from six to eight, PM, or you can choose Tuesdays and Thursdays from 12 to 2, so daytimers, uh, or you can choose either Saturday or Sunday from 12 to 2. If you need something customized, I'm happy to work out with you. With you. Just connect with me and let me know. We can come up with a personalized training program for you, but that's when it's being offered. And I think it's important to have a few easy ones for people just to kind of pick from and know that we can deviate from that plan if your life should change. And that's okay, right? Because if we're nothing if not flexible, if we are yogis, right? So there's that. Uh, okay, so let's see. Tip. What if something comes up and you need to miss? We already talked about that. No biggie. You send me a message on Slack. Not going to be there Wednesday. Be there Sunday. Check. No problem. I don't need to hear why. That's your own personal business. Just let me know, though. Um, again, so that piece of accountability, right? Like, who wants to call the personal trainer and tell them they're not going to the gym that day? You know, you end up reaching your goals. So, okay, um, when to run from a training. You need to look at the marketing material. If the marketing material has a foot on a knee joint, run. I don't care how cheap it is. A, any responsible yoga teacher training is going to make sure that the anatomy and the safety and the effectiveness of the class is there before a pretty picture. Take a look, be sure, make sure. All right. Um, fun facts, wrapping up to our very end. Okay. Did you know that Edge is co-op that opens our doors to local instructors? We are. So for this reason, I often have like fellow studios and studio owners come take the training at Edge because we don't operate as like a studio, you know? And so it, we operate as a co-op, like that's what we do. So we're the trainer's trainer. That's, so we've been this for a long, long time. Um, it's my goal to open up my home, my edge, my studio in South Naperville uh, to those who want a beautiful place to practice. And so we've expanded our services because the world is digital now. We're digital now. So if you wanna come to your virtual class, we'll capture that digital asset. We'll upload that to YouTube. We have a whole business model about it. Uh, we are there for you. We are not new at this. The sister company Web Struts that I actually created back when my son was in college. So a number of years ago, um, you know, a one page website with a book now, buy here, pay for a virtual class can make the difference between an inspiring yogi who would like to share yoga but doesn't know how and one that actually is. So having those business services at the ready is something we are really, really good at and we want to share with you. Next up, you've probably seen some fun things on my wall. If you've been on my wall, if not, scroll down. Uh, we've been doing yoga gigs around town. I got a catchy new name for it. It's called yoga gigs with Sobe. Isn't that cute? So what we do is we go to various venues and I bring a yogi with me, either someone who's in our 300 or alum, and they do uh, an asana sequence. It's not called out. It's just a, a physical practice. And we overlay music on that. And so recently our good friend Jay and the drums added in his music, which was just amazing. Uh, and we promote the venue who has been impacted by the closures of 2020. And then all of 2021 each month will feature a venue. 
And so the idea will be, you know, just sharing a little bit about this one small business in our community that was impacted and how you can help. And, and I think all of us come together and maybe move away from Amazon, even though it's easy. I know I said it, move away from that and move towards holding space for your community because you want them to be there when this is all over, right? Don't assume they'll be there when this is all over. If you're buying now your card on Amazon, you've got to support your local business. So that's my soapbox for the moment. Um, so I'm all excited about that. That's called hashtag project 2021. And so keep an eye on all of those opportunities that are there, yoga gigs, corporate gigs. If you have a company and you're looking to offer a wellness program, we're the people to let know. So I can let my student body know as they graduate and are looking for yoga gigs we're assisting with placement so those are some of the things that we're up to here uh at edge yoga school i'm so excited about all of it if you want to find out more ask me questions head over to yo edgeyogaschool.com hit chat you'll get me and we can chat about it it'll be good so other than that everyone enjoy your free workbook thanks for hanging out and namaste